Hi, I'm Mike Gubby from My Sleep Blinds. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the beautiful Helmet 95 system. I'm gonna show you what it is, I'm gonna show you how to measure it, and I'm gonna show you how to install it. And we're gonna get straight into it right now. As you can see behind me, Helmet 95 is a beautiful addition to your outside mount single roller blinds that are in a back rolling position. The construction of Helmet 95 has this beautiful top so the blinds won't get dusty when they're in the up position on the top there and it's got this beautiful curved fascia. Now at iSeek Blinds, we've done all the hard work with Palmet 95 because the brackets that install the blinds, the roller blinds are already pre-installed inside the Palmet. So fitting the Palmet 95 couldn't be easier. Now it comes in three colors that I'd like to show you today. The ones behind me is the white color and this is the exact sample of the white color there. It also comes in this black color, so again, Top, stop the dust, beautiful curved fascia. It's a nice matte black finish. And it also comes in this beautiful anodized aluminium color. So when it comes to measuring for Pelmet 95, I've got two different examples behind me. I just wanna to explain to you the little nuances between both of the examples. With this Pelmet here, I've measured my width of the pelmet, which is the, the width that you have to provide. We call that the outside box measurement. I've measured from the outside edge of my architrave to the outside edge of the architrave, and then I've added 60 millimeters onto that width. And the reason why I did that is because I wanna bring the fabric slightly past the architrave so I get this beautiful wall to fabric finish. Now, with this pelmet here, I've measured the exact width from the outside edge of the architrave to the outside edge of the architrave, and that's my outside box measurement. And as you can see with this one, you can see the fabric actually stops short of the architrave, so I've got the fabric into the architrave, into the wall. Measuring the drop is the same on both examples. We're always measuring from the top of where we intend to install the pelmet down to the bottom of the architrave. So that's what I've done in this example here. And for this example here, I've measured from the top of the architrave or the top of the pelmet uh, down to the carpet below. And those are the drop sizes that we provided to IC blinds. So when it comes to installing Pelmet 95, we have to install the pelmet first, and then we have to install the roller blind second. Now, I Seek Blinds has already done the hard work for you because we've already pre-installed the brackets that hold the roller blind in place. All you need to do is fit this right angle bracket across the wall or across the top of the architrave, and it's really important that you get them nice and level. Now, because it's difficult to show you up on that window exactly what I do, I thought I'd just bring this little sample down and show you exactly how to locate the bracket. Now, the bracket has two installation sections. There's this little spring-loaded lip here at the front, and there's this little section here at the back. And I just wanna show you the exact location of how that installs. So if I put it there, push back there, you can see that's exactly how the palmet sits inside the bracket. There's a groove here where the front lip sits onto, and there's a groove here at the back where the back lip sits into. Now that I've installed my brackets um, into the top of the architrave, it's really important that you install those brackets perfectly level because the Palmet 95 is so rigid, it won't deal with the brackets being, you know, a little bit up and down. So it's really important that you have to use a string line, use a spirit level to make sure you get them perfectly level. So let's go ahead and install the Palmet 95 now. What I do is I just present the front of the Palmet into the front of the bracket in that position that I showed you. So I've got that in there. It's a bit hard to show you exactly what I'm doing, but see, I've got the front in, and now all I do is just push to the back, and you can see that Palmet 95 is now fully installed. Now at this point, if you can, it's really important just to look at the top of the brackets, and you can just make sure that you've got it engaged correctly um, right across the whole width of the Palmet that uh, is, is done properly now. 
At this point regarding my width, I can tap the end of the Palmet 95 just to bring it a little bit left or a little bit right before I install the roller blind. Sally, now we're going to install the roller blind up into the Palmet 95. Now, because this is a motorized roller blind, it's really important that we don't tip the blind because the motor's gonna fall out. And it's really important that when we do present or you present the motor to the male bracket, it's really important that we get that USB port facing in the six o'clock position in the straight down position, okay? So you have to put your motor into the male bracket first and I'm gonna be holding the blind in the right position for you to do that. And then once you're done, I'm just gonna put lift my blind up into the female bracket and that's gonna install the blind, okay? So let's go ahead and pick up the blind, but I want you to hold the end of that motor and make sure that we keep the blind level. So just put your hand over the motor, that's it. All right, so let's move up into position and get you around the ladder. All right, now I want you to really take note of where that uh, USB port is. You can see that. And just make sure that that goes into the bracket facing perfectly in the six o'clock position. So I can see you've done that perfectly because I felt that going right in. Okay, so you can let go of your end now. That's fine. So now I'm just holding up uh, my end. I'm putting just a tiny bit of pressure uh, to the right hand side. And my job is the easy one because I've just got to click the blind um, up into the helmet just like that. Sally, thanks for your help. That was super, well done. So now we've learned about Palmet 95. We know how easy it is to measure and we can see how easy it is to install the Palmet 95 system. Let's bring both these blinds down and see what it looks like as I fade off into the darkness. As always, if you like the information, please subscribe, please like, give the thumbs up and leave any comments and I'll answer them personally for you. Thanks very much for watching.